Phantom Quest is a prime example of why I love digging through unknown anime. I found it by chance last night in my anime backlog, and it made my night. This four-episode anime original is a horror-themed comedy produced by Studio Madhouse, and it even has a good English dub. I know I will go with him to the crematory. The story follows Ayaka and her companions who investigate the supernatural, such as ghosts, demons, vampires, you name it. What makes the anime so hilarious is its use of ironic humor. It's funny because everything is the exact opposite of what you'd expect. For example, Akiya is hired in episode 1 to catch a vampire. The only reason why this vampire is loose in the first place is because some rich Japanese dude bought a vampire's coffin in an auction and nobody bothered to check inside, so he basically imported a vampire. Hot on the case, Case, Ayaka's sleuthing leads her to discover a vampire, but not the right one. She finds a friendly, anemic vampire who runs a tea shop and is a total silly boy. They must be young and beautiful and elegant and perfect, precious and delicate. Like this I like this guy because he tries to keep his vampirism a secret but dresses like a vampire and constantly blurts out things that only a vampire would say. In addition to its ironic humor, there's also a slight amount of perverted jokes as well. <laughs> there's an opening! In fact, most of the humor revolves around the antics of the Phantom Quest members, and investigating the supernatural is just the thing that happens while they're being funny. These entities pose a threat, but are rarely dangerous enough for the characters to drop the act and get serious. Instead, they're all so skilled in hunting demons that it becomes effortless and comedic. The only real complaints I have about this anime are that it's too short, and it's opening to pick situations we never get to experience. At first I thought these were taken from the manga, but sadly there is no manga. Maybe they were planning on the anime being much longer than it was. My other complaint is that episode 1 is easily the high point in my opinion. I think every episode has a nice blend of humor, spooks, and action, but episode 1 is still my favorite. It honestly surprises me that my anime list has this as a 6.5 with only 2,000 people having completed it because I love this anime and I will continue to sing its praises for many years to come, so I give Phantom Quest an 8 out of 10. The tricky thing about humor is that it's subjective, so this anime may not be for everyone. But seriously, tell me this ain't funny. <laughs> I think some who rated it low may have expected it to be more serious than it actually is, but the very first second of its opening shows Ayaka with a tube of lipstick that extends long enough to become a sword. I think that alone should set your expectations perfectly. Either way, I hope you give this anime a chance at least with episode 1, and if you do, come back and tell me what you think. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and share with a friend so more can experience the wonders of Phantom Quest without being spoiled. Thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon and through YouTube channel memberships for making these videos possible possible. A special thanks goes to Nia-chan for going their tier. I couldn't do it without you all. I'll see you tomorrow with my review of Bari Bari Densetsu from the creator of Initial D.